Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, continues to hold extensive stakeholder consultations on his government's newly proposed health and security levy to ensure a seamless rollout and to best prepare consumers and the local business community for the health and security levy, the Prime Minister has considerately decided to delay the commencement date by one month. The revised date for the implementation of the health and security levy is August 2nd, 2023. Because of consultation and the need to discuss with the stick the, with the stakeholders and people involved, we have pushed that date to the 2nd of August. So the health and security levy will be implemented from the 2nd of August. I want to reiterate and say one more time that there, is, there are no increased taxes on food products or medical products. The health and security levy will be on the same goods for which we have the value added tax. There's going to be no addition to these goods and there will be no taxes on food and medical supplies. Prime Minister Pierre crafted the health and security levy to help the government generate new revenue to fund law enforcement and public health care projects for a reinforced national security apparatus and expand access to health care services at lower costs to St. Lucian citizens. The levy is expected to annually generate at least 33 million EC dollars for the government of St. Lucia. Consumer prices on food and medicine products will not be affected. There will be no levy on food or medical supplies. For the last time, there will be no levy on food or medical supplies. St. Lucia's legislators will further elucidate on the health and security levy during a scheduled parliament sitting. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihanna Isidore.